This time we left Yerevan early in the morning before the sunrise. It was organized bus trip to remote Tatev monastery and visiting Shaki waterfall and Arani wine factory on the way. It started at 8 in the morning with the duration of the trip more than 13 hours. It costed 42 euros, including good lunch, tickets to cable car and white testing in the factory. The first stop is Shaki Waterfall. It requires an easy, enjoyable few hundred meters hike along picturesque Waratan Gorge. Waterfall Shaki is considered one of the most beautiful waterfalls in Armenia. Its height is 18 meters and it's one of seven wonders of the area. On the left side of the river Waratans Gorge, basalt lava flows have solidified to form a ledge 18 meters high from which the waterfall cascades down. There is a beautiful legend related with the name of the waterfall. In the medieval times, during one of the invasions, a blue-eyed beautiful girl Shaki was kidnapped by the conquerors. While she was escaping from the prosecutors, she jumped off from a steep high cliff. Her long white dress, fluttering on the wind, opened up and transformed into a powerful waterfall. Since then, it called Shaki Waterfall. Yes, this is dramatic scenery change occurred when we came closer to cable car leading to Tatev Monastery. I was wondering if we will be able to see anything through the thick clouds. Before 2010, Tatev was very difficult to reach because of its remote location. When a 5.7 km aerial cableway was erected to connect the monastery with the nearby village of Halidzor, it became more accessible for worshippers and tourists alike. Total ride time is about 12 minutes and the aerial trainway cabin reaches its maximum height of 320 meters. The winds of Tatav is included in the Guinness World Records book as the world's longest non-stop double-track cable car and Tatav is a tentative UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Tatev Monastery is a 9th century Armenian Apostolic Monastery located on a large basalt plateau and it stands on the edge of a deep gorge of the Varatan River. The Tatev Plateau has been in use since pre-Christian times, hosting a Pagan temple. The temple was replaced with a modest church following the Christianization of Armenia in the 4th century. In the beginning of the 11th century, Tatev hosted around 1,000 monks and a large number of artisans. The monastery suffered from multiple invasions from Emirates, Mughals, Turks, plundered the monastery and burned some 10,000 manuscripts. In the 14th and 15th centuries, the monastery hosted one of the most important Armenian medieval universities, the University of Tatev which contributed to the advancement of science, religion and philosophy, reproduction of books and development of miniature painting. Scholars of Tatev University contributed to the preservation of Armenian culture and creed during one of its most turbulent periods in its history. 
The Republic of Mountainous Armenia was a self-declared unrecognized state established in 1920. The state didn't last long. In July 1921, Armenian Soviet Socialist Republic was declared, and Mountainous Armenia was no more. Now, Tatev is one of the most historically significant and spiritually important sites in Armenia. Many couples come to monastic complex for wedding ceremony or baptizing their children. Areniwai Factory was founded in 1994 and it's one of the oldest and most well-established wine facilities in the area. It produces 1,200 bottles of wine per hour, with supplying the process by the staff of 6-8 people. Another 17-19 people are working in the cellar where the wine is getting aged and maintaining the certain level of humidity necessary for massive oak casks. Each cask is used for 7-8 years and then gets sold for brandy production. Our tour was followed by a short testing session of the winery's dry white, rose and red wine from the traditional to fruit wines. If you enjoyed watching this video, I encourage you to subscribe, click like and hit notification bell button to get updated of the new releases.